my name is Acidical Portal and today I'm going to show you how to make a texture, well not really a texture, but more so of a 3D hyper realistic texture for bricks. So there's many ways you can do this. Instead if you just want to use the decal packs that's absolutely totally fine but if you want to have it have depth if you want to be able to have it have differentiate from its you know original just brick texture so if we go to like you know one of these you know this this would be the original however today we're going to go a little bit farther so what we want to do is we want to get a bunch of different parts so thankfully the roblox had an update where you can add sorry you can turn in meshes and you can alter their size alter their shape that kind of stuff so we want to make a almost rounded texture right we want to make something that's kind of looks like this so the edges are seamless and then I'm going to do this on this side as well. So what we want to also do at this point, make sure that when you create these parts, make sure that it is lined up in the middle of the circle parts right here. And we will also do this on this side as well. So we will drag it over here. So now it has this very rounded look to it. Uh, you could end right there with the brick shape, but we want to go and create like a realistic looking brick. So this part right here is about one by one by one on all three sides. So it'd be one cubed. So a cool trick you can do with this is you can make it kind of look seamless. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna do this on all different sides right here. It, it does take practice, but I have my stud count really low. It's at 0 0.05 studs. It allows me to edit the parts really quickly. So I'm going to turn this one sideways and then I'm going to put this inside of these parts right here so it looks seamless. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, nothing is perfect, so you know, don't stress about it if it doesn't look exactly how you want. Building takes practice. I've been doing it for a very long time, so I kind of get the gist of things. So I'm going to turn it sideways with this one. So I'm going to put it right here. So as you may notice, there there's kind of a lot of parts going on. So it's good to group this in like a model. We're not quite done yet, so uh, I haven't done it quite yet, but it's good to, you know, group this in a model. Anyways, so I'm going to, what see, see this almost like ridge or like line right there? When that disappears, you know you've got it solid. So, all right, we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to, Sorry, not the same thing. We are going to make this part in here and we'll make it cover the bottom as well. But we, you know, we want to make it look seamless. So it looks like there's no part there at all. So this is, so see how it kind of becomes seamless once you kind of reach the middle right here. Maybe take it back a little bit more. There we go. And we're going to move this part to the bottom. So there it's seamless right here and it's seamless right there as well so that's pretty cool so on the bottom i also have a plugin called camera light uh i have a video explaining about that if you want to check out my ser other videos in this building series so we're going to make this look seamless and there we go now we got a brick so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to name all of these brick part right very simple no way actually Okay, there's two ways you could do this. The first one is you can make this a model, but the second one you could also, uh, the, the second way I prefer, which, yeah, there we go. So you can scale it down, change its size, but the the way that I prefer is the, the mesh. So if we union this, which is gonna merge all these parts together. Oh, I gotta ungroup this. Yeah, don't do what I just did. Uh, if you have it in a model, it's gonna say that it doesn't support that okay so now it's a union part and if we go to the wireframe where is the wireframe there it is there it is so as you can see uh, this one has a lot more parts to it so you have a lot more polygeometric faces inside of this one but this one because everything is merged together it just kind of gets rid of a lot of that stuff there's still a lot but it's a lot less convoluted so and what's cool about this one if we if we just name this brick part we can name it brick whatever so 
I'm going to place a block here, or this is going to be like a wall, I guess, right? It's not going to be that big, but I'm just going to show like an example of, okay, cool, perfect. So if we want to scale this down, right, if I want to make this like, like size one or whatever, right? What's cool about this one is you can stretch it, you can stretch how it looks, that kind of stuff. So if I make it two by one, right, it's going to have this kind of look right here. Oh yeah, and if we want to change the color of this. Oh yeah, and you, if you want to use part, uh, you have to use, turn, activate uh, this checkbox right here because if you don't, uh, it's it's not going to use the part color. So just to let you know. So there, we can um, make this texture almost. And there we go, we got a almost texture actually it's Z fighting up here, so I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit more. But yeah, just, you know, repeat this texture and you got yourself a, like, brick texture. And before the end of this video, we will cover this in different texture. We'll change the, um, we'll change the color. So we'll, we'll do different stuff with it. But for now, we're just gonna make this wall, like, this wall kind of look seamless. We're gonna make this one pretty small, so just so it has like the end. It's not perfect as you can see, like it kind of does stretch it or rather squish it. But if you can kind of deal with that, uh, you can. And also if you're not satisfied with this, if you want to go back and, uh, you know, maybe change like this set, no, no, I didn't mean to negate. Now my thing's going crazy, but yeah, separate reset scale. So essentially if you're not satisfied with that, you can separate the part but also, you can also change the scale as well, although it gets really mess messed up when you do that. So just to warn you, if you don't reset the scale, uh, it can get like really messed up. Okay, so what do we have here? So we can repeat these patterns. This is the A pattern and this is the B pattern. So if I duplicate this and if I duplicate this right here, we've got ourselves a pretty decent pattern going on right here. So if we do this one more time, we could complete this pattern and we've completed this wall. And there you go, you've got yourself a wall texture. So now what you wanna do is if you wanna change the materials or whatever, um, I personally like this darker color, but so if we do this, we can maybe like make some of these parts darker, just kinda sprinkle it out, you know, a couple times right here and uh, maybe we can make this one you know maybe a little bit different so cool so now we've got ourselves a pretty reasonable texture going on uh, if you don't like I said if you don't want Z fighting you can just bring this out oh shit yeah you can bring this out like that so if we make this concrete there you go you've got yourself a wall brick texture and also uh, you could also like maybe bring in the textures a little bit more if you want, but I'm, I'm gonna bring it back out. But you know, if if you like the uh, texture like that, you can definitely edit it. Like I said, you can change the part size so it doesn't have to be like this exact size or whatever. So yeah, that's about it for my tutorial. This is a model and this is a union part. Uh, it makes a huge difference unioning. You can still use this, but I've warned you basically, you, you see what happens. So if you guys like the video, check out my other content. Uh, I make a lot more of these kind of videos. I also have other types of videos that I do, uh, such as gaming, uh, that kind of stuff. More, more tutorials. A lot of my older videos are tutorials, but you know, yeah, if you guys like my video, give it a like. If you dislike my video, give it a dislike. If you like my content in general, please subscribe. It helps my channel out tremendously. And that's about it for this video. Have a good rest of your day, folks, and thank you for watching.